So today we are going to uh, go over mixing green stuff and the tools that I use to do so. We, I basically pre-rolled out two bits of the green or what will become green, so blue and yellow. I usually do even sizes because I really don't notice any difference when it's, you know, darker or darker green or lighter green. Um, but generally speaking, I just do even, so. Um, to mold these, I use pastel pushers. So we have one with a kind of a rounded edge. We have one that has more of like a angled point. And then I use the darker color here because it's firmer. And that's what I use mostly to blend. Uh, you can also just use your finger. Um, however, you will probably leave uh, fingerprints on there. You can also use, I guess, an eraser, um, but you're, at that point, you're probably going to want to use water um, because it might stick. Um, you don't always have to use water. I have pretty much gone away from that. There was a AMA with Hassle-Free, uh, with a sculptor from Hassle-Free, I believe it's Kevin, and he uh, basically said what he does is just take his tool and wipe it against his forehead because the grease that emits off your face is basically good enough to blend it all together. And as gross as it is, that's basically what I've been doing. Um, so today I will be basically applying the green stuff into this chasm here. Um, I chopped off this arm. This is a, um, what is it? Uh, Croxagor that uh, I was kind of putting together for skirmish just for the hell of it. Um, Obviously, I don't have one. I just I had the body for the troll, and I had an extra cold one head. So that, and we'll be applying, putting these two together. I use grill glue, um, but however, the Hobby Lobby, just general three pack that you get at the checkout counter, like the almost like water, is good for other stuff. We'll get into that later. Um, so basically, just take these two things and you just mix it together. Hands with paint on it because I was doing terrain earlier uh, for skirmish that I have later on today. So basically get this all together. If it starts sticking to your hand you can do the same thing that you would do with uh, your tools basically. You can walk your finger across your forehead or you can use water um, as such. And so you kind of stop sticking. So um, then just tear off a bit. Um, generally speaking, you're gonna to wanna to figure out how, but you don't wanna to use too, too much. Um, however, if you do, you just scrape away the excess. Um, one thing that I've learned that would be probably useful to any beginners is that do it in stages. So all we're doing right now is we're filling the hole. We're not gonna be sculpting the scales and all that. We're just going to be, you know, basically merging these two pieces together. So, just take the tool and just basically shove it all around to where it has the rough shape. So, the benefit of the firmer tool is you can use this edge basically and push it around. You can do the same thing with a knife or anything like that. Um, it really just is up to how you feel about it. Uh, when it comes up to the scales here, you're going to want to push basically in so that, you know, it isn't taking away any of the detail, um, but you're probably going to have to sculpt new scales anyway on this thing. So anyway, there's that. Um, if you're going to use the kind of rounded edge tool, that'd be perfect for this kind of area because it's pointed right to the tip. This is not the best blend that I've done, but um, it's softer so it does get that better flow to it after uh, it's where you want it to be. You can push it out to the edges to where um, basically it run off into the normal body of the figure. Um, for that, if you want it to be blended perfectly, you can either use the aforementioned uh, Hobby Lobby Super Glue, which I believe I have right here. 
or uh, liquid green stuff uh, that would provide that kind of texture too. So then for this, I had drilled a hole in this, but I just cut it off in the middle anyway. So um, a thing about this that uh, if you want to, you can use these uh, use green stuff and super glue together to create a better bond. However, keep them away from these because these things will harden up. I've lost I've lost tools um, before doing that. The uh, other tool that I use I should have brought up earlier are you can buy these clay kits. Um, I've actually broken off the end trying to scoop out green stuff. This is what I use to scoop out the green stuff here. Keep it in a flock box because it's just easier to keep track of. Um, however, the ends of it does you know wears out. Uh, so, yeah, so this thing here, um, you can also use a push pin. It really doesn't matter too much. So, when you don't use super glue in combination with uh, green stuff, the green stuff can just be removed easily. It just peels off, and I mean, if you mess up, you just reapply. So, it's not that big of a deal if, it, if you've lost it, it's just a matter of material cost. So, put that there. Um, since it is the more um, liquid version of super glue, uh, where it goes doesn't matter too, too much. Just make sure it doesn't pool anywhere um, because otherwise you'll ha basically have an added texture you don't need uh, to the model. So just mix in super glue there and basically just stick it in. and let it sit probably for about a half hour maybe more um so again you want to try to figure out how much you need this is actually more than i needed so what i can do then if i wanted to be a bit more ambitious and you know go off pace is that i would do the same thing to the hand area um if you're not going to use super glue what you can do is basically your um generic clay molding stuff is that you want a flat surface and then you're going to scour it. Um, by the way, doing this is going to probably cause you to get cut. So just be aware of your blade control. Um, my thumb has been cut up all the hell before. So um, probably you don't want to do this one yet. So but that's okay because we're using green stuff. It'll flatten itself out against that edge. So um, don't need to use super glue I am just because the other side I'm not going to scour it so applying the green stuff there and basically you can merge these two together again you're not going to want super glue on the edge there uh, to use your sculpting tools to blend them because rather your pastel pushers to blend it because it will get all muddled up with the uh, Super glue. So take your scalpel here um, or with the flat blade like this one. Um, this was used with hot glue recently, so it's all muddled up. Um, and just you can push these together. And of course, I ruined it by doing that. But we have work time with green stuff, so that's totally fine. Anyway, we're going to push that away from his head. That was the issue the original pose was with having. Uh, you can leave excess like this if you wanted, um, or you can blend it together. If it's just excess later, you're going to just cut it away. So we'll just leave it like that because I had the extra. And yeah. So that's step one on the Airsots Croxagor. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, thanks. Bye.